As promised, each week I release a section of the 66-Day Guide to Improvement. Last week we did a quick overview of the program as a whole. Today, we'll be starting with Part 1. Just to recap, 66 days is how long it takes to make an action into a regular habit. That's why this program covers 66 days. If followed properly, self-improvement should become a regular action you take instead of something you have to quote force yourself to do. This will greatly simplify the process of self-improvement and also make it efficient for you to do. So let's just dive right in. 66 Day Transformation Guide Part 1 Reprogramming This section of the guide will last about two weeks. What we will be doing here is taking beliefs you have that are detrimental to growth and replacing them with more positively focused beliefs. I dedicated the first two weeks to this process because it is extremely important and necessary in order for the rest of the system to work. Think about when you're writing with a pencil and make a mistake. You don't just write over the mistake. That would look ridiculous. You erase the error and replace it with the proper thing. That is basically what we'll be doing in this part. I'm going to list all the habits we'll be doing for this part right now and slowly go through each one and teach you how and when to apply it. Meditation Journaling Cold showers Exercise, three days of heavy lifting and two intense cardio sessions. Hypnosis Meditation The benefits of meditation are well known and well studied, but here are just a couple as a reminder. Promoting emotional health, enhancing self-awareness, and lengthening attention span. But the key benefit of meditation that is relevant specifically for this system is the fact that it clears your mind and allows new information to flow in. You will meditate for 10 minutes as soon as you wake up, every morning, for 10 minutes. Journaling. This helps you organize your thoughts and gives an outlet for you to freely express your emotions, thoughts, and feelings. It's obvious why this is a helpful habit for reconditioning your mind with positive attributes. Journal positive thoughts and goals directly after your meditation. Cold showers. The reason we incorporate cold showers into this system is not the physical benefits, although there are many. It's for the mental acuity and clarity they provide. They also build discipline along with mental and physical fortitude. After your journaling, hop into a cold shower, do this for 5 minutes. Exercise, exercise, for this system is to prime the mind. Many people don't know this but exercise, especially in the morning time, leads to better mental clarity and focus. However, to get the full benefits of exercise you need to have a well-rounded program that encompasses every aspect of fitness, including strength work and cardiovascular fitness. It's for this reason that you will be doing three strength sessions a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Tuesday and Thursday, you will be doing a high-intensity interval training workout for your cardio. Google is filled with thousands of free programs for both of these. Pick one you like and make sure to stick to that program. Hypnosis You can think of this like a subset of meditation. There are many free hypnosis videos on YouTube, and I recommend you listen right before bed for full effect. What you will do is choose from one of these three categories. Focus, Discipline, and Confidence. Pick the one you think you have the least of, and search hypnosis videos for that category. I recommend picking one that is no longer than 15 minutes, because anything longer will likely be hard to commit to consistently. To recap, you'll be using all these methods in conjunction in order to prime yourself for the next phase, which will be inserting habits and creating a system that leads to inevitable success. The key to this part working is consistency, so maximize these methods in a manner that you believe will keep you consistent. We are trying to build momentum to lead us into the next phase ready to go, so do not, under any circumstances, skip days or only do some parts of the system. This is what your next two weeks will look like. Good luck and get to work.